Today, I'm going to be giving you a quick overview and product demonstration of Act Premium Cloud, the leading CRM and marketing automation solution to help you market more effectively, close more deals, and make happier customers along the way. Let's begin by taking a quick look into a day in the life of one of Act's 800,000 global users. If you're like most Act Premium Cloud users, the first thing you see when you log into ACT is the ACT welcome page. The welcome page gives you a snapshot of your business from the day's tasks, open opportunities, a visual representation of your sales pipeline, and a list of what we call hot leads, which are leads generated from marketing campaigns. Now we'll get into leads and marketing automation a little bit later, but I will point out ACT is the total relationship package as it includes the ACT CRM and ACT marketing automation all in one. After a quick review of the welcome page, most users will head over to the task list to start prioritizing their outreach. In the task list, I see details associated with all my scheduled outreach or activities. Using the drop-down menus, I can filter scheduled activities by date, by type, and by priority. I can also use keyword search to quickly find a specific activity, including private and cleared or completed activities. Just like every aspect of Act, this view can be customized to display the info you want using the customized columns icon. When I'm ready to reach out to a specific contact, I simply click on the name of the contact, which takes me to the contact record. The contact record is just what you'd imagine it to be, the place where all pertinent information related to a prospect or customer is stored. Within the contact record, I can see scheduled activities, associated opportunities, completed activities via the history tab, notes, documents, and much more, including associated groups, personal info, and whether they've received an email from an ACT marketing campaign. And as I mentioned before, ACT can be thoroughly customized to the unique needs of your business, which includes the contact record. You can access the layout designer by selecting tools, design layouts, and then selecting contact. But let's get back to the task at hand. We have an activity scheduled to contact someone about a quote. In this instance, let's say we reached out to the prospect with a call. The call went great, and they've decided to move forward with our proposal. We can document that conversation and schedule next steps by selecting the open checkbox next to the activity. From here, we can enter a few notes pertaining to our call and then select the save and follow up option. Maybe we need to follow up with our prospect's accounting person to get credit card information and process a payment. We simply enter that in the regarding field, pick a time, and then schedule with this new contact. From there, we'll associate the opportunity and we'll put in any specifics in the notes field and hit save. From here, we'll update our open opportunity by navigating to the opportunity directly or by selecting the opportunity tab. In the opportunity tab, we'll see all pertinent information associated with our opportunity, from things like the size of the opportunity, open date, estimated close date, status, and sales stage, which shows where this opportunity is in our sales cycle. Again, ACT can be customized to your unique business, which includes different sales cycles for different types of opportunities, each with their own unique sales stage if needed. In our case, We've just received commitment to buy. We'll keep an open status for now, but change our sales stage to commitment to buy, hit save, and then check to make sure our follow-up activity is scheduled. You'll also notice the opportunity record tracks the products and services associated with the opportunity, the specific contacts, notes, activities, history, and any associated documents. In terms of additional customization, you have a number of fields that you can customize to track information unique to your business in the User Fields tab. 
Now let's presume we get credit card authorization and this deal moves into close one status. We might want to associate our two contacts with a group. Maybe it's a group that we might email occasionally with new product info or complimentary services for the products they purchased. In this case, we can add them to a group by navigating to the Groups Companies tab and selecting Add Opportunity to Group. In our case, maybe we want to add them to a new group, which isn't available in our dropdown. Simply select Cancel and then select the Create New dropdown and select Group. This takes us to the Group tab. With Groups, we're able to group together prospects and customers with similar characteristics to make outreach easier. For example, you might want to group contacts by city or state, or by customer versus prospect, or whatever type of segment you want to create that's based on information you track and act. In our case, we want to create a group based on the types of products or services a customer buys from us. To do this, we'll first give our group a name and then select the Add Remove Contacts option. You'll notice we now have the option to create either a static group where group members are added or removed manually, or a dynamic group where group members are added or removed automatically based on our defined criteria. Let's start creating a dynamic group by selecting the Edit Criteria button. In the Type dropdown, we'll select Product, then Name from the Field Name dropdown. We'll choose Equal To as the operator and enter the name of the product in the Value field. This pulls in any contacts where this particular product is associated. If we wanted to make this a customer group, we would repeat the process to pull in Close One opportunities. If we wanted this to be a prospect group, we would add criteria for open and or close lost opportunities. Now that we're done, we hit OK and save. We now have a dynamic group of contacts. Similar to the contact and opportunity record, you'll notice I can review any scheduled activities, associated opportunities, history records, and more for the entire group directly from the Groups tab. Segmenting our customers and prospects not only gives us much greater insight into our business, it allows us to deliver targeted marketing campaigns to specific segments via Act Marketing Automation, which we can configure by selecting the Marketing Automation tab. Act Marketing Automation is a powerful marketing tool to attract, engage, and convert prospects into customers, and even increase loyalty in existing customers. Act Marketing Automation is included with each and every Act Premium Cloud account. Now that we've created our dynamic group, in our case, a group of customers who have purchased a particular product or service, we can add them to a campaign so they can receive updates and incentives associated with that product or service. Act Marketing Automation is organized by campaign, email templates, and landing pages. You'll see in campaigns, I've created a campaign to learn more about product enhancements. Selecting this campaign allows us to see all the steps and rules associated with helping our customers stay up to date on enhancements and suggesting complimentary products associated with something they've already purchased. We can select how long after purchase should they begin receiving Act Marketing emails. We can edit the actual email content they receive. and we can create the next steps based on whether they act upon the information we send. Now, once we have campaign steps and content determined, we associate our newly created group as part of the distribution list. And then activate our campaign. If you or a member of your team uses or have used a marketing automation platform, using Act Marketing Automation will be a breeze. And again, it's included with your Act Premium Cloud subscription. Now, when someone takes action associated with an Act Marketing campaign, their information and associated tasks will show up in the Hots Leads section of the Act Welcome Page tab. 
that same section we saw when we first started today's overview. Now that we've created an act marketing campaign and included our dynamic group, emails and actions will be triggered the instant a customer or prospect is added to that dynamic group. Now, let's head over and take a look at some analytics and reporting dashboards by clicking on the Act Insight tab. Act Insight is a powerful tool for creating custom analytics dashboards, which allow you to make data-driven decisions and react quickly to ever-changing market conditions and opportunities. When creating dashboards in Act Insight, you have views, and then you have charts that sit within each view. There will be four views by default, key insights, sales metrics, campaign metrics, and customer interactions. In terms of charts, you can create standard charts that utilize two sets of criteria, such as last month's opportunities by stage, or you can create advanced charts that utilize more than two sets of criteria, such as last month's opportunities by stage and by sales rep. Now let's say we want to add a chart to the key insights view that shows opportunities by stage for last month. To do that, simply select the gear icon and choose the option to create a chart. We'll give the chart a name. We'll select opportunity for the entity type. We'll select stage for the field. We'll calculate by count and we'll choose bar for chart type. This will create our chart. And then we can select the three dots associated with the chart and use the drop down menu to show for last month. We could conversely create a chart for the current month. But let's say we not only want to see opportunities by stage for a specific time period, we want to see opportunities by stage and by rep. To do that, we would want to create an advanced chart. We'll start by giving the chart a name, in this case, the rep's name plus open ops by stage. We'll elect to pull information from the opportunity table. We'll select stage for the field. We'll summarize by count and we'll stick with bar chart for consistency. From here, we'll want to add our criteria. For field name, select record manager. We'll set the operator to equal to, and then we'll plug in the rep's record manager ID, which is their email. From here, we'll add another set of criteria to only pull in data from open opportunities. Now, should a particular chart pique your interest and you feel like digging deeper, you can click into a bar or column which converts the chart view to a list view, which you can then click into and take you to the place with an act where that data is stored. For the more visual person, Act Insight is the place to go to get the data you need to make data-driven decisions. We can get more detailed information by running a more traditional report by selecting the Reports tab. Sticking with our theme of gleaning insights from your data and using those insights to make data-driven decisions, Act Premium Cloud includes approximately 50 standard reports that can be accessed via the Reports tab. Access reports by scrolling through the list or selecting from the Reports drop-down menu. Popular reports can be selected as favorites, which move them up into the Favorite Reports pane. Sticking with our previous example of looking at opportunities by stage and rep, running a pipeline report gives us even more insight, including opportunity revenue totals, estimated close date, close probability, and more. Now that we've covered reports, let's review some of the other heavily used aspects of ACT. We'll start with the ACT calendar by selecting the calendar tab. If you're like most users, you're not only using your task list to prepare and prioritize your day, you're also using the calendar. In fact, the calendar is one of the most heavily utilized aspects of Act. Similar to the task list, the calendar allows you to see all of your upcoming activities for the day, the week, 
for the month. If you prefer to see upcoming activities for just the work week, you can do that as well. Activities can be filtered by type and priority by selecting your preference from the drop-down menu. You'll notice there's also an option to show cleared or completed activities as well. In the mini calendar, you'll see days with activities are highlighted in bold, and you can navigate to prior months using the arrows or jump to months from prior years using the calendar drop-down menu. Now you'll notice within the calendar itself, I can reschedule a meeting by clicking the meeting type icon to edit an activity. I can clear the activity by selecting the checkbox, and that includes recording our call notes and scheduling follow-up activities. And I can delete an activity by clicking on the X icon. The calendar is a powerful tool for staying organized and keeping opportunities progressing. That concludes our high-level overview of Act Premium Cloud and a day in the life of an Act user. As you can see, we barely scratch the surface in terms of all Act can do to help your business. For example, we didn't talk about Act Connections, which include hundreds of integrated partner solutions to make sure all the platforms you use to run your business speak to each other through Act. To learn more about Act Connections, head over to the Act Connections page. We also didn't get into ACT add-on products, such as custom tables, SMS for ACT text messaging, and Linktivity solutions, which include link to quotes, link to forms, and link to events. To learn more about add-on products, visit the pricing page or give us a call and speak with an ACT representative. To try ACT Premium Cloud yourself, free for 14 days, fill out the free trial form today.